When it comes to whisking, I'm the real cream of the crop. <laughs> oh, they bad. just get Ugh. worse and worse. Now, the situation is very simple. I've been asked to do some baking. I'm not very good at baking, but I know somebody that is. She's a legend of baking. Give it up for Nadi Hussain. Woo, woo, woo. In the edit, <laughs> they're going to hear the crowds applauding and everything. It's going to be amazing. OK. Give it up for Nadi Hussain. Nadi, you've got a lovely apron, but a lovely apron and a lovely performance on the Great British Bake Off should be accompanied by a blue bit of badge. Oh, I've waited 33 years for this. Excuse me while I enjoy this. Yes, oh you my goodness. deserved it. And I didn't even have to enter a competition. Do your children have a blue piece of badge? Oh, they don't. See, so mum's first. Yeah. Mum is first. Oh yes, and I'm going to rub it in their face. Now I say, your children, I know what your children look like because they're in your book. They are, yeah. My eldest isn't. He's decided he's not in this book this okay. time. But my other two are, which is lovely. So it's nice to be able to, because they help me when I write books, especially the kids' books, because the stories, it's for kids their age and the recipe. So I get them to go in and they're my little guinea pigs. Um, and this is the third of its kind, Bake Me a Celebration Story. So I'm really excited because it kind of goes with the other two. And it's a combination of recipes and stories and crafts. So perfect. Could I actually get good at baking? You know, even you could. There's edible slime in here. Is there really? There now is, that's genius. There is edible slime in here. But I don't think we've got edible slime today, but we do have lots of yummy ingredients. What are we going to make? So we're making a not Victoria sponge. Because I don't like that it's always Victoria's sponge. Why does Victoria get to have the sponge? So should we go but ahead and make... Not, but it's not Victoria's, of it's course. ours. It's our, it's the... Radia, Radia. Radia? Radia cake. Radia cake. That's it, Done. that's what it is. That's what we call it. Perfect. We've actually got a very special camera here. It's for when you can't see with that camera, what's going on? You can get a close-up of me trying to... Oh, hang on, that was one-handed. Oh, well done. That was one-handed. Even I'm not confident doing one-handed. When it comes to cooking or baking, I sometimes feel like you're either good at it or you're not. I reckon if you practice and make a few mistakes, and that was kind of my yeah. rule in Bake Off, when I did Bake Off, if I didn't make a mistake, I was worried that when I got into the tent, if I made those mistakes, how would I know how to fix them? So I pushed, I urged myself to make mistakes while I was pra practicing at home. And when I made them, I was like, right, so if this goes wrong in the tent, I know how to fix it. That's genius. So I was like baking stuff 11 times. I was doing things 11, 12 times. That can be intense. Intense, I like it. There we go. I like that. If you make one massive cake, you have to then slice it in half. But this way, we're going to get two even layers. Easy. Yeah? There you go. And how long does it stay in there? 25 for? minutes. 25 minutes. Just gives you lots, lots more time to clean up. Yes, it does. So, Nadia, they've been out of the oven. They've cooled. Yes. And they are smelling great, by the way. Yeah, you've got to let them cool completely. So that's really uh, important. Okay. You can't get tempted and start taking bits out. No. But we're going to fill out. The, the reason why this is not... Now, you say, why is this not Victoria's sponge? Yes. Right? We're, doing no, we're not doing cream and jam. No, we're not. Oh, we're not? No. OK. Let me get those out and you can start whipping the cream. The reason why it's not Victoria's is because we're putting banana milkshake in it. Now that is genius. Now that is genius. We're not putting icing sugar, we're putting banana milkshake. Smell it. Now that is old school. That is exactly what... So, I'm going to tell you a secret. Oh, that smell. For the first 20 years of my life, I couldn't eat bananas. Didn't like the texture. OK. But always liked banana milkshake. Yeah, I like that strong, not, you know, like that really ripe banana smell, which yes. is, that's what the yellow stuff in a banana milkshake smells like. It's like really, really ripe banana. But like, you could do whatever you want. You don't have to have banana milkshake. You could have chocolate milkshake. You could have strawberry milkshake. Like, you could do, you could have all three and lay them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? That would be the future. Exactly. That's it. You nice. Stop. Can you see that? Yes. If it sits in your whisk like that, it is ready. Right? Are we allowed Straight to? Straight on I was going to try and lick the whisk, but you can't do that. You can a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, it's good. It's good, isn't it? That is so right? good. Right? Yeah? 
That is delicious. We're going to take banana chips. Do you like banana chips? Yeah. Yeah? Pop that on top. Yeah? Go for it. Already looking good, right? Yeah, look and that. you did that. You did that. I contributed to at least five or maybe six percent of that. Most of it. It's all yours. And then, just to finish it off, just a dust. You can do that bit. You yeah. can dust it. Go for it. Like, that's it. That's, that's a bit Ainsley. That's a bit Ainsley. <laughs> a little bit Percy Pepper. Percy little, Pepper. A bit 90s reference. Huh? <laughs> so, I'll be honest. If I thought that was a Victoria sponge, and I thought, yeah, cool, I'll enjoy it. Not a Victoria sponge. I am so excited to try this. <laughs> Give it a go. I know. The smell alone is worth it. It smells me. like a milkshake in cake. Like, what more can you want? No, and are there more recipes like that in your book? There, there's wild and wacky recipes in there. There's like a saffron biryani, which is like, it's jewelled with pistachios and cranberries. And there's all sorts of, there's pastry roses, there's edible slime, there's all sorts of wonderful recipes and stories and crafts. And the amazing news is the saffron jeweled rice is actually on the Blue Peter website. So again, find out how to make it. Give it a go, take a picture, and send it in to us, because I'd like to see your pictures and find out just how much better you are at baking than I, but you're not going to have much more fun than I, because it's so much fun. Nadi, it's been a genuine pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's been so much fun. What is that over there, by the way? Because I think I just need to take this. Where?